why did I move into the woods? Well, I'm going to show you why and what I did for four years. Every morning I waked up from my place in the woods, in my camping wagon, and the first thing I did in the morning was to walk into the woods and do my practice. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So when I came into the woods, I was sitting down in the warm place for all these years and I was chopping down trees with my hand saw and uh, then I started to create a campfire which even if it was snowing and windy I did the same thing and the really really cool thing is that <clears throat> the practice I had was like a Zen practice I'm going to show you how I do it and I was firing up with one match and if I didn't made it I went down again for about two kilometers picking up one matchstick and I went back to do the same thing until I could do it. So I was chopping up the woods and if it was resistant I, I picked another one. So here for example is resistant I stopped had to find a place when it worked see so everything was about to be smooth gentle and be together with the woods in the woods be together with myself to investigate my inner being that was the beginning of my journey of taking away everything i have learned and relearn myself about the nine life energies So many times I, I had some people with me and it was such an interesting process to learn how to build like a timber log. You're building up the campfire. If it was raining or snowing a lot, I had to have something to cover my jacket or something to cover it. And the more pretty you do it, the more zen you do it, the more beautiful you do it, the more relaxed you are, the better it will be burning. So it's a super cool Zen practice. And I did this for, um, as I said in the beginning, uh, 1500 days, every morning, no matter what, the whole year through. Christmas morning, New Year's morning, Eastern morning, I did the same thing. To be able to get this <clears throat> to burn with one message, you have to be really gentle with your knife to just start to get small, small, like you're shuffling up small pieces of wood. Let it, it feels like it's melting down. All these small ones, take it off and you put it in a place where it's easy with the matchstick. Many times, many, many times when, when I did this in the beginning, I couldn't get the, the, I couldn't get it to burn. So I had to be more and more precise with myself. And that's how I started to learn about being absolutely present and another thing I learned it was the element so if it's a lot of fog and rain in the air it's a compression of the air so then you have to have more space in the in the campfire to to make it to burn so I started to learn about the nature and how the impact is how amazing it is when it's a little bit breeze or wind and how easy it was, and sometimes so incredibly difficult, like the journey we are in our life. So I have to be really careful now with the wind.
holding my hands over it and then I feed it like you're feeding your energy don't ever leave it and then I start to put on small ones on top you see and it still needs to be taken care of so then I start to put on top so fire needs the same as we need it needs something to work on if you don't have something to work on it will not start to burn and it's still not burning enough but that will happen I can feel it in my body done this for years many many years I can feel it inside of myself and that feeling is such a good experience you see I'm still working on it to make it burn very beautiful no snow on it and doing this day after day I mean today it's such a beautiful weather it's so it's so nice to do it and sometimes when it's snowing it's windy raining it really doesn't matter when you start to understand the principles of nature and the principles of your life energy and that's that's how I created the step-by-step -step process I actually went out for this many many years like four years every day and I created this discipline so I could sit with myself being present the first law is to be com I'm sorry completely present with yourself and reality to really understand reality reality is whether reality is your atmosphere so here we go and then I put a little bit around beautiful and then I could work with the campfire and I knew it will last for one hour or this will probably last for about 25 minutes or so but that's enough now today because we are here to tell you the story about creating a discipline for yourself and how incredibly important it is to have a routine you don't need to go out in the woods every day but you actually need to do your meditation every morning so I was sitting like this with the campfire and I did my inner work which you are going to learn through our method going inside yourself doing one lifting your chin and so on through your whole body and I did that every morning every single morning and I investigated myself and my issues sometimes it was so much snow so I was shopping every tree was chopped down with my saw cutting up and I was sitting I was struggling I was like it was falling onto another tree and, and I had to climb up and, 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 and sew it down sometimes I used five six hours to do a half an hour meditation and so, so it was an incredible inspiring insight to get to learn about myself in that way so that's why this is so important why did I move into the woods I moved into the woods to rediscover myself to realign myself and to really deepening into the nine life energies so I can take that information bring it into community and that's how we learn the nine step process which is a transformation process where the nine principles of the nature is aligned with the nine life energies so why why did I do this I was in a training for many many years and I crashed into a car with my bicycle and something changed in my mind and I decided to do what they do in the Hindu and, uh, and, and uh, other 
um, I don't want to say religions, but uh, methods, um, which is really working for thousands of years. And one of them that inspired me was to, okay, so you have to go into the woods or into the desert and kind of get rid of the old stuff. You have to do that inner process. And many people go into a temple or they go into a church or they go into a community where they can, you know, I will say dry out the old bullshit. I decided to go into the nature, that's my temple. And, 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 and the other temple I have is my own body. So I aligned, when I aligned my body with the nature, some kind of new information came into my presence, which I actually can't, I can't explain it, but I know that you, when you're out in the nature, can feel it. And that's the feeling I brought with me when I was teaching about nine life energies. I had to rearrange my language. I had to rearrange my body. I had to rearrange my life and I had to be tuned into nature in a different way that I have done before with no cell phones. I didn't, I didn't use Instagram, Facebook. I was completely alone. There is very few pictures from that period of me. I was just walking into the woods in silence day after day to be present with nature and myself.